What's up? Um, it's Friday, October 23rd, about uh, almost 1.20 p.m. So I'm going to make this quick because i got to be at check-ins in 10 minutes uh, for the Legion Sports Fest. But um, yeah, here in Reno, Nevada, <clears throat> got in uh, to the hotel like uh, at 9.30, 10 last night. And um, got in, got situated. Uh, organized everything and then um, basically couldn't sleep uh, for a long time because I was just I don't know stressing about making weight or something today but uh, anyway woke up today and I'm good to go on the weight so I'm gonna jump over to check-ins and get that over with so I can start carving up and uh, getting the rest of my two gallons in today two gallons of water um, and yeah that's it for now. I'm going to get this ball rolling, and uh, we are here. So let's do this shit. All right. Yeah, same. 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 It's, I have totally noticed that. I'm like, wow, well, I yeah. really can't. Do You're just doing the open? Yeah. yeah. Like I was telling everyone, hey guys, if you can hear me, tanning is going to be right here. This is your pump up room. So that's only two places they're going to be looking for you. So when you go in here, then as you go in the room, you'll see the stage right on your right. Yeah. But today, when you go through, bar to the left a little bit, talk to the first girl at the first table. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Classic. Give you a little idea of the venue. Just got done with check-ins, which they're doing right here off the main stage for the show. We're at the uh, Reno Sparks Convention Center. Got my mask on. Um, so there's the entrance right behind me with the black curtains. Uh, that's all empty space right now. I'm sure there'll be vendors over there. And then main stage, we checked in. There you go. So two days, carb up, relax. I might visit the, the uh, expo tomorrow, but uh, yeah, all set. Right, so back in the hotel, it's just after three right now. Um, I got back like, I don't know, 45 minutes ago, an hour ago or something, and uh, just been chilling, getting some water in and uh, you know, carving up. Check-ins went well. Uh, like I said, I was, I didn't get a lot of sleep because I was uh, stressed out about making weight, but it ended up not really being an issue. Um, so I, I woke up, you know, basically like wearing no clothes or just posing trunks on. I woke up uh, fine, you know, like three pounds under my, my weight limit. But the funny thing is I get there and then they let me... So in classic physique, they measure your height first to determine what weight you have to be at. They let me uh, wear my shoes when they measured my height, so I came in just over six foot. So I actually could have weighed in um, all the way up to 230 pounds. So it ended up not really mattering. Um, but so I I didn't even. When, when they told me what they measured my height at, um, I didn't even end up taking like my shoes or tank top or pants off or anything. Um, I, yeah, so it ended up not even mattering really because I still came in way under the 230 mark. So yeah, all the, all the stress is off now. I just get to uh, chill for the next basically two days. Um, like I said, it's Friday right now at 3 p.m., so for the rest of the day here, just carving up, um, pounding water. i got to get two gallons in. And uh, tomorrow, 
Tomorrow's basically the same thing. Like I don't have anything going on tomorrow other than at 6 p.m. I got my spray tan and um, that's it. So pretty much for the next two days, just eating, drinking, water, and uh, water's gonna get cut off at some point in the afternoon tomorrow. And then um, that's it. Then just wait to get on, on stage for showtime on Sunday. So yeah, I'm gonna sign off right now. I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna chill. I gotta do a client check-in today. Um, and then just relax, maybe watch a movie or something, um, eat, take a nap, chill, and that's it. So check back in next time, and uh, till then, I'll see you later. What's up? It is Saturday, October 24th, um, one day till show day. Actually, a lot less than a day, because uh, it's about 5 p.m. right now. So, have, um, what do I have? Let's see, about 17 hours before showtime. Um, but anyway, not much has changed since yesterday. Uh, all day today, I've just been kind of hanging out, um, getting stuff ready for tomorrow, eating, uh, cut off water. I was pounding water until about 2.30 p.m. and then and then cut water off after that. Uh, so not touching water right now. And uh, about to go do my first coat of tan in just about an hour. And then get a meal in before that, come back, and the uh, same thing, just chill until bedtime. Um, try to get to bed somewhere between 10 and midnight because uh, the show's at 10 in the morning, and I want to try and get there between like 9 and 9.30, so um, just so I'm not like rushing or anything and having any stress the day of the show. But uh, that's it for now. I think I will um, check in after the tan, or at some point after the tan before I go to bed. Uh, but other than that, just got to stick to the game plan and... Uh, have some patience, keep eating, and chill out. So, till next check-in, I will see you later. All right, here back in the uh, back at the convention center for my spray tan, which is right next to the um, the area where they're having the show. As, as you can hear behind me, the NPC show is going on right now or I think it's getting out right now, but uh, anyway, getting in here, running a little bit late, so I'm gonna shut it down and uh, talk to you guys afterwards. All right. All right, so that's it for me for Saturday. Uh, just got back from getting the first coat of spray tan. Obviously my uh, body's a little bit darker than my face because they, uh, they're they not gonna hit my face till the morning before the show um, when they do the second coat of spray tan. But um, yeah, for now it's just uh, the waiting game. And be trying to get to sleep here in the next like three to five hours. Um, eating, relaxing, maybe just chilling, listening to some podcasts, watching some on Netflix, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that's it for Saturday, and um, next time I talk to you guys, it will be showtime. So, we'll see. Check back in in the morning. Alright. Yo, it's uh, game day, Sunday, October 25th. Um, that was it. Woke up uh, feeling good. Probably, um, I don't know, I woke up around like 7.30 or something, <clears throat> um, but I was going to try and get a little bit more sleep, and then have my alarm go off at 8. Didn't really get any more sleep, but, uh, you know, just laid around. Uh, yeah, feeling good, looking good. I uh, think I'm ready, got enough sleep. Uh, so that's, that's the major thing for me, is like... Trying to trying to fall asleep before a show is sometimes tough. 
I haven't had too much of a problem in the last year, but um, yeah, before that it was always a battle. And then you wake up and your legs are holding water because you're stressed because you didn't get enough sleep and um, you know that can be a big issue sometimes. But luckily, this time wasn't wasn't a big deal. Um, that's it for now. Uh, I'm gonna go over and get my second coat of tan and uh, yeah, then just eat another time. I already already got one meal in. I'm gonna eat one more time. Uh, I think before. The show starts and then uh, yeah and that's it my category is third up I think let me see yeah so <clears throat> uh, fitness and figure go up before we do and then it's classic physique after that so got a little bit of time but um, yeah I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push it I'm not gonna wait too long to get to the show um, that's it. Ready to do this. So, just gotta go get my second spray, and it's all good. All right. Um, guess we'll see what happens. Chelsea's is eating an apple. I just got done with second spray tan and uh, they look a little darker. Um, yeah, it's almost about 15 minutes till uh, the show starts. So we're gonna head over there. Uh, I think I'm gonna throw down a little bit of food right now and then, then walk over. But uh, yeah, it's about game time. So that's it, ready to go. And um, we'll get some get some uh, footage, I don't know, walking around the venue and backstage and stuff, and then you'll see me on stage. All right, till then, bye-bye. Judging done, we're driving around uh, getting some food, burger and fries, and uh, I'm gonna eat that and take a nap and get ready for finals because I'm tired. What do you think? Sounds good. Would you like to elaborate? Um, can't wait to eat my tacos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's getting tacos. Bye bye. All right, just want to touch base a little bit before I head over to finals, because um, uh, I know I didn't really explain much earlier about prejudging, because I was a little, 
a little tired and out of it and focused on uh, getting that burger and fries in. But um, yeah, so prejudging went well. Uh, they, like early on in the comparisons, they moved me. There were only four people in the class, but they moved me to the center along with another guy. And then um, <clears throat> towards the end, they moved him to the outside and another guy to the inside. And then we had a couple poses and then they finished the class and we got off stage. So looks good so far. Um, we'll see once I get to, to the finals, but uh, that's going to start here pretty soon. So I'm going to wrap this up and we're going to get over there and then we'll see what happens. All right. Talk to you later. Andre Adams. And your winner, Derek Duzinski. Woo! Gentlemen, your favorite classic pose. All right, good to go. Thank you, guys. We're going to have Derek drop that bell off. He's going to come right back out. Time for our classic physique overall. We're going to have our six class winners. Please take the first place award, the check for $1,500, the title of 2020 IFBB Pro Masters Classic Overall Champ is Derek Duzinski. tan and oil on um, so after finals came back here showered and then got dressed and went and ate with my now fiance because um, I asked my girlfriend to marry me after the contest and one of the reasons I did that is because I won the show um, Won the overall in the master's class. Uh, so, you know, just wanted to compile uh, multiple positive things. It was actually when I turned pro, I kind of had it in my mind that if I did win a contest, I would ask her to marry me on stage um, when I won. Uh, but things were rushed and you know this this one was a little unexpected because I wasn't really 100% sure which way things were going to swing with this show so I wasn't you know I the overall was a possibility obviously um, but in my mind I was a little bit you know not 100% um, thinking it was going to go that way but yeah did and uh, things worked out and it was great I mean you know couldn't be happier right now I turned pro um, in September last year and then obviously you know in the other videos I did uh, two pro shows by the end of the year after that did actually did the Legion last year it was my first pro show and then did the Battle of Texas in December as my second pro show and then this is my third pro show which um, which I won so I'm pretty excited even though if it doesn't look like it it's because I'm tired and you know obviously competition days are long days uh, but yeah it's it's 
it's amazing it's kind of a shock still um that and now being engaged which uh you know very happy about that's not as much of a shock because i've been thinking about it for a while um but yeah that's all i have to report um i'm shutting it down for the rest of the year no more competitions for for the rest of 2020 and uh i think i don't know we'll see as far as 2021 i uh i really just want to not worry about um preparing or planning on prepping for a contest till the covid thing is like completely over with because this year was kind of a nightmare as far as like prep is concerned um I'm sure I talked about it before on, I don't know, maybe earlier in, in one of these videos. Um, but, you know, I posted it on, on other social media. This year, I started my prep in February for other shows. And, like, three other dates got ended up getting canceled. One of them at, like, almost last minute. I mean, I, I found out that show wasn't happening at, like, three weeks out. So... It's just been a frustrating year, and uh, you know, as, as far as planning for a contest, I really like to have the dates down, and and so I know like exactly where I'm going with my prep. Um, if everything's up in the air, it's just it's tough to really nail everything down the way it needs to be. Um, but that being said, it worked out in the end, and now I get to kind of relax a little bit and enjoy the holidays for once. Um, I got to enjoy like. Christmas and New Year's time this past year, but you know, not as much, uh, not as much Halloween and which is my girl or my now fiance's birthday and didn't, you know, didn't really get to enjoy Thanksgiving either, which kind of sucked. So this year I'll get to take full advantage of those things, um, you know, and spend some time with family chill and not really plan on anything until until the whole COVID thing is completely done with and it'll be nice just to have that relaxation but it's also gonna you know it's gonna kind of suck just waiting playing the waiting game till COVID's completely not an issue um but it is what it is I guess I don't really like using that phrase but it uh it fits the bill in this circumstance anyway that's it for me um hold on i'll i'll get the trophy show show you guys that one really quick because it's a pretty cool trophy so here's the the legion first place medal for my class and here is the overall trophy. Zoom out so you can see how big this thing is. So that's it. My first overall pro win. And looking forward to hopefully seeing some more of those in the future. Because um, I don't know. Feels like this is, this is a good start. So we'll see. And, um, yeah, that's it. Just going to relax for the rest of the night. Maybe go into the hotel and get, uh, I don't know, get some dessert, some, um, I don't know what they have. There's an ice cream place I saw. Hopefully I'll find a little dessert place, get some, get some pie or some cheesecake or something like that. I already had my pizza for the night, which is my, um, in the other videos, I think I may have mentioned it, the other contest videos, but uh, pizza is my, my little thing that I get after every contest. It's kind of uh, been a, you know, even if I'm not necessarily like craving it 100%, um, it's just become the thing that I, that I like to eat after a show. Uh, it gives me a little nostalgia. Um, because I do that, I've kind of been doing that with my family after every show. My family aren't here this time, but um, uh, it's just become a little tradition that we do 
after every show. So, I don't know. That's it. Enjoy my night. And until next time, signing off.